dear students today we will continue with part 2 of our earlier chapter that is landscape of the soul i hope the first part of the video is clear to you all if you have any queries related to part 1 section you can drop message any time to me in the second part we will get to see the contribution of nichand as an artist especially outsider art here the topic is under the heading getting inside outsider art this is an article which is written by brinda suri and this was published in hindustan times newspaper which was published on 28th august 2005 it talks about outsider art what is it all about let's understand this article talks about those contributors who are not trained those artists who are not trained but still they have made they have created such things which a trained person will not be able to think about it when french painter jean dubuffet mooted the concept of art brut in the 1940s the art of the untrained visionary was of minority interest see there is a french painter whose name is jean dubuffet okay when he propounded the concept of art brut art brut is raw art okay raw art without training original art okay originality of an untrained artist natural artist you can say in simple words so here when he propounded the concept of art brut or raw art the art of the untrained visionary was of minority interest it means that untrained artists were not given priority whatever they had created that was of no importance from its almost veiled beginning okay concealed covered beginning that means it was not a success at that moment outsider art has gradually become the fastest growing areas of interest in contemporary art internationally when it was started in the year 1940 by jean by painter jean it was not very famous nobody paid heed to this concept but gradually at present we find there are lots of people who give importance to this concept according to them even if the artist is not trained but he or she is able to create something worth mentioning worth praising then they can be compared with a trained artist okay they should also be given importance and they should also be regarded as a great creator in the society this genre is described as the art of those who have no right to be artist as they have received no formal training yet show talent and artistic insight earlier they did not have any right to be regarded as an artist but according to this concept they were also given importance okay especially to those who had artistic insight their works are a stimulating or inspiring contrast to a lot of mainstream offerings now here the trained artist okay the trained artist might not be able to create things which motivate and inspire people but if the same is being done by untrained one then they should be given utter importance according to this concept of gene okay and here it says that internationally it is growing okay internationally it is getting popularized all right so the same situation we find in india as well even in india we find outside art okay outside art and example is nikchand saini what is what has he created let's find out around the time dubuffet was propounding or presenting his concept in india an untutored genius was creating paradise now here the writer rinda talks about nikchand the creator of the rock garden at chandigarh and uh, he is untutored genius he is an untrained artist he has literally created a paradise in a little patch of jungle the rock garden which is created by nikchand is in a patch of jungle okay there is a small area which he cleared and made these sculptures with 
useless materials stones and useless materials he is widely hailed as india's biggest contributors to outsider art he has used anything and everything from a tin to a sink to a broken down car as the material for a work of art he has made a single handed contribution to art by using the waste and recycled material for art and this is hardly done by a trained artist he is an artist who has converted his dreams to reality and a little jungle into a world that is the hub of artistic pleasure the notion of art brute or raw art was of work that were in their raw state as regards cultural and artistic influences now here the raw art or outsider art which is presented by nechand it has connection with cultural and artistic uh, influence okay because the material that he used it had something to do with society not only that this is an ideal example of raw art okay untutored natural artist had made this jungle into a garden okay into a raw garden so this was very influential for the viewers anything and everything from a tin to a sink to a broken down car can be material for a work of art something nechand has taken to the zen heights now see be it a small tin okay he had given his efforts he had made it a part of his creation because of which it it is valuable now okay tin is not a tin now but it is a piece of art because of the creativity of nechand so what it said out here is that even if it is of trivial importance it is taken to dizzying heights because of the creator so the material does not matter but the concept of raw art matters a lot what we can make of that particular thing okay recognizing his art as an outstanding testimony of the difference a single man can make when he lives his dream the swiss commission for unesco will be honoring him by way of a european exposition of his works so here we find because of the outstanding testimony of course no one will deny regarding this okay i will show you pictures from the garden and you will be able to make out that how talented nechand was recycled material is known to the world today as the rock garden at chandigarh we know chandigarh is in india okay so in chandigarh we get to see a wonderful place where raw art is visible okay and here we find all the materials which is mentioned out here things which are made up of trivial and useless items its 80 year old creator director nechand is now hailed as india's biggest contributor to outsider art at that time okay in the year 2005 he was of 80 years but now he is no more okay he died recently in 2015 so when he was alive he was regarded as one of the biggest contributors to outsider art we know what is outsider art untrained artist okay an untrained artist raw artist okay who does not work by getting the training from others but they create something out of their own heart and mind so those are called outsider art outsider artists the 15th issues spring 2005 of raw vision a uk based magazine pioneer in outsider art publication features nechand and his rock garden sculpture women by the waterfall on its anniversary issue of cover so it was great achievement of an indian citizen that in uk magazine his picture was published not only that with picture his creation was also mentioned which received international attention in five month interactive show realm of nechand beginning october will be held at leading museum in switzerland belgium france and italy the biggest reward is walking through the garden and seeing people enjoy my creation nechan says he has received so many awards he has given interviews because he is popular personality now but apart from all these things apart from all these achievements 
when people work in his garden and appreciate his art that gives him more pleasure than anything else so by this the chapter is completed i hope it is clear to everyone if not do let me know thank you children we will meet in our next class